Well, thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Ivey from Neo Weather, and we're looking at a little break from the very active weather pattern, but I think we're gonna really start things up here again soon. We could be dealing with true old man winter back with a vengeance. We did have some pretty cool winter weather creating freezing fog over the course of portions of the Midwest, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, and neighboring states. This is rime ice that forms from that. So very cold below zero Celsius or below 32 Fahrenheit water droplets that when they touch a surface, could be a railing, could be a pavement surface, could be brick, could be a mailbox. It turns into frozen precip ice. It has a pretty cool pattern to it. You can see here uh, the kind of the individual small scale intricacies of the different icicles that form on any and all surfaces. It's just the mist surrounding everything. Pretty cool, just like out of a movie. Forecast section of this with the future cast. This is one system to watch. Could be a little freezing drizzle on the eastern side of this, little snow in the middle. I think the heaviest precip, whereas you're actually gonna see more in the way it impacts, is gonna be the rain on the far side. It's gonna be less terrible. You're gonna have less drizzle, you're gonna have less fog. Um, it's still kind of gloomy across portions of the Ohio Valley and Midwest, Mid-Atlantic, but not as bad. A uh, little system forming, just some light snow here. It's not a super active pattern, but it's not like it's dry, high pressure and sunshine either. So a few snow showers here, few more coming in with this system stretching across portions of Montana in towards portions of Idaho, then sliding into the Dakotas eventually. That will be kind of one of the minor systems to watch as we go into early next week. Notice, could this system maybe be back here a little bit? Could there be enough cold air for there to be snow with this? It's possible, or it could go out to sea. Also possibility of enough cold air in the right setup for a little bit of lake effect snow as we go into early next week. Some of these systems are gonna dig more. Possibility somewhere across the south for more in the way of snow is certainly there. These models are not doing great. They don't have a wonderful idea on a realistic idea of what's gonna happen, but the trend is more active next week and the chance is there for more southern or east coast type systems. This would be another guy that could ride up either the coast or go out to sea or be an interior type of a storm. So things to keep an eye on. There should be more cold air available into next week. Once we get through mid-January, I think it's games on for more of true winter weather. And this is a map that's gonna kind of show that. In the blue color, the green colors, that is below average height anomalies or more troughs in the atmosphere. You have good blocking here. So you're kind of suppressing things, pushing them south. I'll give you a good look at that, how you're gonna see multiple different waves spin up. This is a pretty good looking pattern in January if you like occasional outbreaks of cold air and a more active pattern with snowstorms. Doesn't mean your backyard will get them, but there should be more storms compared to right now by a lot um, in portions of the central Great Lakes, Eastern US, even Southeast. Look at all those uh, wonderful blue and green colors showing up there off and on. So that is a much higher propensity compared to average for storms to develop overall. Also temperatures, they're just not gonna be quite as mild. A lot of this is honestly pretty close to average here. Definitely below average temperatures here across the south. Only really are you dealing with the Dakota, excuse me, the Dakotas and then back across the west coast in the next six to 10 day period that are gonna be above average. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, whether you're a snow contractor or any other industry that deals with weather, we work specifically for you to forecast the impacts so you don't have to worry about a lot of the stuff. You don't have to worry about those apps and the TV forecasts. It's a lot more accuracy and a lot more information here from Neil Weather.